Hey, so what's going on guys? Make sure we drag the reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be revisiting the Pitaka Mac Easy Car Charger Pro, which I reviewed a couple of months back. And this will be my long-term review of the car charger and whether I think it's worth it to actually pick one up for yourself. So before we begin this uh, very quick review video, a sub to the channel would definitely be awesome. Also ding that notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's get right into the long-term review of the Pitaka Mac Easy Car Charger Pro. All right guys, so as you can see, I have it mounted in my Volkswagen Sirocco because I do not have an Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, head unit at the moment. So I've been using this for the past couple of months and honestly, it has never failed me once. So it has been really reliable. And in fact, there are actually many benefits from using um, this Pitaka Mac Easy car mount. Uh, I do not have my iPhone 13 Pitaka cases with me at the moment, but I do have the official clear case for my iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, that actually works with this charger perfectly so if you do have official Apple first party accessories you're not going to have any trouble using it with this camera because it is MagSafe compatible after all okay so one thing I do want to highlight is that the matte texture has actually held up in the super hot Malaysian weather and I parked my car outside uh, a lot and the car charger has been really really durable because you know this matte feeling uh, material usually gets sticky after a while but this has been really really nice uh, of course it is still very new uh, it's only been a couple of months but with the weather with the super hot weather this has actually held up and another thing i do have to mention of course besides the very very nice design this carbon fiber design right here and the pitaka logo very minimalistic it also has the alignment magnet at the bottom so you're not going to have any trouble aligning the phone with this Mac Easy car charger. So right now, let me give you a demonstration that is actually MagSafe compatible because we do have MagSafe animation right here. But to ensure that you are getting maximum MagSafe speeds and also definitely the logo to prove it, you do need a compatible car charger to go along with it, which is something I had a lot of trouble finding because I had many car chargers that were the correct wattage but because it was USB A and that was the cable that came with this it was a USB A to USB C cable so that didn't work for many of my car chargers so I went ahead and got this car charger right here from Basis this is a USB PD USB C uh, car charger so when I use the USB-C uh, car charger I also had to change out the cable so this is a U green uh, generic USB-C to USB-C cable you can use the one that comes with your iPad as well so if you do have an extra one lying around that is great but I actually went ahead and bought a braided cable because I think it goes very well with the overall aesthetic of this car charger so I got the USB-C car charger as well as the cable and that actually gave me really, really good charging speeds. I was able to get around five to 8% of charge from just around uh, 10 minutes of driving compared to the previous car chargers, which I used, which only gave me like what? Two to 3% in like 10 to 15 minutes, which was really bad. I mean, my commute from home to work is only around, just say the most 15 minutes and I was getting barely any charge. So that was kind of a bummer, I mean, I want my phone to actually get charged on the way but with those other car chargers I, I was not getting the the percentage the battery percentage increment so with this setup this is what I can say the best setup getting a USB-C or USB PD car charger along with a USB-C to USB-C cable so that's the perfect combo right there so I still wish that Pitaka actually gave a car charger I mean the price of this is really Expensive for a MagSafe car charger, for a car charger in general. And I think that is something they should have included. I still strongly believe that. So overall, the magnets on this has been holding up really well. I've been through bumpy roads. I'm using every day basically. And there's no trouble. So I can mount it either landscape or portrait mode. And no worries right there. So at times where I do want to have my maps a little wider, on a wider view. I can actually use it on landscape or I do want to like watch movies or the go or something 
otherwise I can just use it in the portrait mode so this has been really really a breeze and I think that them having this accessory has been really really awesome so the next thing I do want to talk about is heat because you know it is in the sun the direction of the sun most of the time because of the design of the front glass and of course your aircon vents are usually in the sun's rays so this has no issues at all because number one you're in front of the air vent and number two this car mount actually has a fan that's inbuilt inside to actually keep your device as well as the charger cool so that's a perfect perfect design perfect addition when it comes to a car charger i'm not sure the balcony one has it but from what i know the balcony one doesn't have it and of course you can expect all the other china versions not to have it because they are number one much cheaper and yes they cannot include a fan so yes majority of those other third party ones do not have a fan but however they have actually taken the time to design this properly and i never had any overheating issues with my device and with this charger so it's always been vented and cooled by the aircon vent and as well as the imbued fans so that really helps when it comes to the charging and not damaging the battery in your device so do i think the pitaka mac easy car charger pro is worth it or not well i think it is definitely worth it but it would have been better value for money if they included a usb-c car charger they would have just sweetened the deal but anyways uh, you do have to find one that's compatible and there are many cheap china options out right here so i got mine for around 35 ringgit so it's really really cheap and it worked perfectly with this car charger till today never had any issues never had any charging problems or charging stop stopping or overheating issues never had any of these issues so this has been a really reliable car charger and i think those people on the go should actually get one of these especially if you're using the iphone 12 or iphone 13 series this is a really really perfect addition so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys like this video i hope this video is informational to you guys and also consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up so thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video.